Okay, LFT here again. Um, today I'll be covering a tutorial on Fortumo. As I promised, I'll be sharing problems I encountered during the week during my programming session for companies and businesses worldwide. And integrating Fortumo payments in app purchase for Android has been so difficult. So here's the tutorial for those of you who wants to use mobile payments for your mobile phone application using Android Studio. Um, before I go further, um, I'll show you the things you need. Okay, currently I have my Fortumo, which you can get that on your Fortumo dashboard. So I copied mine here. This is my service ID, my in-app security, and my secret. We'll come to that later on. And you need to download the Fortumo in-app Android SDK from your Fortumo dashboard. You have to log in to get that. And the MP file. This is the most important file you need. I have created mine. I I don't think I was able to find this file in the Fortumo website, but here are all the files all combined together. So let's get started with Android Studio and create our first application. The name of our application is going to be Fortumo App. Simple as that. Um, I think we're good. So we'll go next. Just leave every set in the way it is. And we will be using blank activity and you click on next. Main activity finish. So we wait while the program loads up. Finish loading. I will still have some process running though. But actually, after having a successful run of your Android Studio, I'm going to show you the most important files we'll be dealing with while integrating um, for two more API in Android in app purchase. Um, we'll be dealing with the Android manifest file. Secondly, normally we we'll have to deal with our main activity. And also, we we'll have to make some changes to our build.gridle lab. We we'll have to make some changes here and also make some changes in our pull guard rules here. And so, first things first, as we wait while it comes up, uh, we're just going to start editing from our pro guard rules the pro file. So, what we, we add here. I suggest you find these and copy it. You said keep you keep class your MP class dot star star coily braces star these and you coily braces again where the coily braces and, and this this will make sure you you're able to reference to your um, MP class, which will be important very soon. So that being done, you go to your directory where your app was being created. You can see my mine is created on desktop apps for two more app right at the top of my screen here. So I just go straight to my desktop and I look for my app folder. I go to for two more app right here. Right, so now before we do that, um, we're gonna get this file, this Java file, we, which you have downloaded from your um, Fortumo account. We just copy it, we're gonna copy it, and we're gonna go to our app directory now, our Android Studio app directory. Remember, mine, mine is located on apps for two more app right here so I go to my apps on my desktop I go to apps I go to for two more apps I go to you go to your app directory then your leaps folder you drop the jar file this is the for two more in app Android SDK jar file this is very important so you'll be able to reference all the classes in this library so you just copy the name of this class 
we're going to make a reference in our Android Studio. So now we'll go back to our build.gridu file. Remember, we made changes to our pro guard rules profile. Now we're making changes to build.gridu file. So we'll come down here. <clears throat> and right now, we say compile. Uh, we want to make sure Android Studio is able to read our new added library. So we'll make it compile files. Oh, that's that's what we call it braces. Then we have our libs folder. Um, we had a forward slash for two more SDK the jar. And and that's pretty it. So all, all you need to do is synchronize your work now and everything is good to go. So one more thing, um, we're going to add, I'm going to go back to my folder. We need our MP class. When creating a Fortumo application, payment reference are being made to your MP. So what we do, we extract our MP file here. I'm just going to drag that down. Extract our MP file. Um, we copy our MP file and go to our for two more directory, which is located on my desktop. For yours, you see the location up here. So um, it's just a, a short tree for me. So I go to my desktop, I go to apps, I go to my program folder, you go to app, now you go to source, now you go to main, now you go to Java, and paste your MP class here. And voila, you finish setting up your SDK to process for two more payments. And once you drop your Java class, you can see your MP. You can go ahead and rebuild or clean your project, but I will just do that for now. So the next step we do is to make reference to our Android manifest file. As you can see, this is a standard manifest file. Um, we're going to get our manifest file from the Fortumo website. So once you're on, you look for how to set up Fortumo SDK. Um, we're just going to go straight and copy the hell out of this whole code from top to bottom. You pick, you copy down there, copy. You see, actually in that hub, um, so from everything here down, you just paste your work. So everything fits in fine, except for our uh, IC launcher, because my IC launcher is not located in the drawable folder, it's located under my minimap folder in my rest file so i just make reference to it and say um meet map uh i see launcher right so we're done with our android manifest file everything is looking good so what we need to do now is to make reference to our android package name which you can find it here package you pick it up and you place it on the code we just copied. You place it here. Make sure you don't make mistake when you're doing this. You make reference and you make sure you make reference to your package on every permission. Everywhere your package needs to be referenced, you reference it. Okay, I think that's that for that. So right now, we are good to go. And our activity name here is supposed to be referenced to main activity, which is our main activity. And um, I'll be good.
and we go with our file. So we'll go to Java, Android, our main activity folder. And now we are in our main activity folder. What we do, we go back to Fortumo and we go to um, <clears throat> under Android SDK payment integration using Fortumo in app library without extending payment activity. This is actually the easiest way to go about this. You copy your MP classes. Matter of fact, you can just actually copy everything you have here. I'm going to throw a little light on the code so we'll be able to to work it out more so i just i just paste my work here and voila we're good to go as you can see our main activity extends da, 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 da. So now your service ID and your secret ID, you need to put this, remember I told you you get that from your um, Fortumo SDK. So I, I just, I have mine saved on a Word document. So I just copy my service ID and go to my Android Studio, and paste it here. And um, I copy my secret app ID and paste it here. And voila, we're good to go. Um, making reference to an on-click listener, right here at the bottom, you can see they define the button. And once that button is clicked, um, our on-click listener has been set up. Then we initialize our Fortumo payment system. This is what tells Fortumo what you're paying for, the display name of what you're paying for, um, the product name, and um, the type of payment. This is always wrong because Fortumo has made some upgrade. So you change this to product type consumable. And you need to learn about the difference between consumable product and non-consumable product. Consumable product um, for a brief are products you can buy over and over and over again. But non consumable products are products a user just buys once. And right here, making reference, we make reference to our MP folder just as we did in our manifest file. This is MP. Yep. And so um, we're going to create the button very soon now we're going to name it button but i'm just giving you a brief right here uh privacy this this is a reference code you can actually make this reference code anything you want is for fortuna to be able to make reference to this code to process your payments and right here they are initializing your make payment request using your reference code and this code actually carries out the payments and sends your payment status to intent and right here as you can see below down here we have a, a key statement and this just tell you once your message has been built successfully here you tell it what to do you can open a new fragment by doing intent intent open uh, a new a new Java class and reference whatever you want but if uh, payment fails what you want to do you put down your code here and if payment is um, pending you can show up a loading button or whatever you want to do all these are where you put your activity or you can give um, if your payment was successful you can give them the virtual credit here is where your code goes into okay that being said let's continue building um, now we're going to make a reference to a button on our layout on our main activity window. Um, for those of you who are not used to coding, um, we use the design view. Just use the design view. Um, drag a button here. And when you double click on it, you'll be able to take, change the text on it and just say pay with 
Okay, uh, we delete our hello world, take that off. I love to put this at the center, and, and that's it for now. We we'll go back to our main activity, and you can see our button has been referenced properly. Actually, uh, okay, that's that's all for now. So um, we're going to test our application and see how it works. We're going to click on Run and test our application. Wow. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to my video. I'll keep sharing. Um